Hola, hola guys and happy Easter. It's Easter Sunday here in sunny Cartagena, isn't it? Beautiful city. Uh, we're staying in Salina uh, Hostel, um, which is in the old part of the city. It's a walled city with loads of character, uh, but there's been lots to do from salsa to churches to beaches and boats. I think as there was so much um, we've um, crammed into the last six yeah. days, we probably should just do <coughs> our best bit and maybe something we'd watch out for yeah no good idea so my best bit we did a uh, we did a boat trip out to the rosario islands uh, did a bit of snorkeling but the best bit was in the evening uh, late in the evening we went into a bay where there's um, a high density of plankton and we're swimming in the water with the phosphorescence from the plankton just yeah. blue phosphorescence yeah. and that was my best bit yeah I think my best bit is on Good Friday, um, we, we joined a procession that went round the whole of the old town. There was 14 stations. We watched... Um, three hours. Wasn't it? it was about three hours, yeah, yeah. And um, the, we, we were followed by um, people carrying the Jesus on the cross and then a Virgin Mary uh, all the way around. Um, and you just felt as though you were kind of soaking up the yeah. tradition um, and you were you were part of something so yeah I really enjoyed that um, and I think the thing that I would kind of just say to, to if you were due to visit here if you were to watch out so I'm very fair-skinned it's really really hot yeah, here really. definitely need factor 50 um, so that that's just to watch out for me and um, for me it's the you know everyone's got to make a living um, but the, the the people on the street the street vendors people trying to sell you hats water, you know, the cryo agua, <laughs> agua, agua, agua. <laughs> um, it does get a bit tiring. I wouldn't say that they're really pushy, but it's just a little bit annoying when you just want to have a bit of a sit down and a break. Yeah. And someone wants to sell you yet another bracelet. Yeah. So, and um, actually, when we were at the Rosaria Islands, uh, we did see someone get caught out. We've got it on video, but there are people that do massages um, on on the beach and we were told that if you do that you must agree a price um, and we did see one lady who didn't agree a price and she suddenly had to pay a million um, pesos which is around about 250 200 to 250 pound which so we were all stunned by that um, and they were everywhere, weren't they? Those they ladies, were, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I do it for fifty. I do it for you for fifty p, don't I? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, we're off to flying out to Lima and then on to Cusco today. So uh, we'll um, see you then. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. This is the Santa Marta bus station. Um, we were going to go by a company called El Ex Valca, something like that. We've only got 1.6 rating. Service terrible at the kiosk. So we've actually bought again and gone with Brasilia that we um, came from Medellin. Um, so we're just waiting for the bus. It's at one o'clock. Apparently the bus is 50 minutes late. Start. We were here last night, it was absolutely heaving. It was. Very quiet now, but it is uh, just after half nine and it's really, really warm already.
night at Temple for Colombia's most award-winning coffee, San Alberto. <laughs> There's Andy, we've had our coffee now. It was quite an experience. So we are in the coffee boutique and experience and we're just having a, a pareso and I'm having a chilled coffee that was coming around. de la Trinidad, centre of Getsemane. So this is Getsemane, completely different vibe um, early in the morning. Everybody's in bed. It is Maundy Thursday, so we're about to explore what does that mean here. So we've just been watching the sunset and now we are walking a bit further around these ramparts. Interestingly, the next day we saw lots of young cadets um, in the square, probably collecting their motorbikes.
This is La Isla Grande of the Rosario Islands, um, and that is uh, Pablo Gabal's uh, holiday. Well, was obviously apparently his holiday residence, and um, we just swam out to. Um, swim out to where his plane crashed. So apparently carrying five tons of cooking. But everything is about four times as expensive. It's a bit horrid. Beautiful sea. So we're just waiting for the sun to set and then we're off on a very exciting plankton tour. ¿Qué clase de amor doy? ¿Qué clase de amor comparto? And a couple of things to watch out for. Street vendors are everywhere from sunglasses to water to hats. Um, so uh, just be prepared. And then these ladies here, if you want your photograph with them, you'll have to pay. Las Paqueras, very beautiful but very expensive. <laughs> 